key to the joke break. What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot. Now I've been receiving so many questions on the iOS 10 joke break, what is going to be released and how to prepare for it. So on Twitter I posted whether I should make an iOS 10 joke break update video, basically updating you guys on all the relevant information on the iOS 10 joke break leading up to now. So when could you expect the iOS 10 joke break, all the background information, and how to prepare for the iOS 10 joke break that is coming? We've got some great information for you guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, so take this in, this is so so cool. So basically, this is great news for jailbreak users. I mean, we've been wanting a jailbreak for iOS 10 for the longest time now, but the waits have been longer in the past. I mean, iOS 10 was released in July. That was the beta. And the official public release of iOS 10 was in September. September, October, November, December. That's about four months. But still, that's still a long wait. We need that jailbreak. So take a look at this, guys. Well, what are you looking at? This right here is basically the key to the jailbreak for iOS 10. We have some code right here, and uh, basically, this is a skeleton of the jailbreak. A group known as Project Zero released this, and these are exploits for the jailbreak, and they do provide steps on how to basically complete the jailbreak and get root access on your device. Yes, this works on the iPhone 7 and other devices, so that is super, super cool. I just can't wait to jailbreak my iPhone 7 and, of course, my iPad Pro that has not been jailbroken before, so hopefully it works on the iPad Pro too, probably will. But anyways, back on topic, here we have a kernel exploit and a root exploit too, and that is basically what a jailbreak is. Obtaining root access so you can get Cydia on your device and do all the cool things I could do with tweaks from Cydia, and of course, for that, you need root access. Now, this right here just gives you root access, and that is basically it. It does not put the Cydia app on your device, and of course, it's not bundled into one to be used by your average Joe. So to package all this together and release it to the public, we need someone to step up to the task. And do you guys remember Luca Tedesco. He was basically infamous for showcasing jailbreaks, but never releasing them to the public. But with this, there's really no reason why not to release a jailbreak because the exploits are already public on this webpage. Everyone knows about them, so there's no need to keep it a secret. So here's a tweet that Luca Tedesco tweeted. He stated, there is a high chance I will take up whatever Project Zero drops and write a full jailbreak on top of it. Stay on iOS 10.1.1, especially on the iPhone 7. So yes, Luca Tedesco seems to be stepping up to the task of taking all this information and basically compiling it into one jailbreak tool for everyone to use. But we are unsure if Luca Tedesco will actually release a jailbreak or develop it completely because he does say there's a high chance. Not I will, but there's a high chance. But this is definitely still great news. Even other teams like Pengu or Taiji can utilize this information and develop a jailbreak, a complete jailbreak from it. So guys, prepare. We could be expecting a jailbreak soon. Now again, Luca did mention that he should stay on iOS 10.1.1, iOS 10.2, the new version of iOS 10, probably did patch some exploits, and so they can't really be used on the new iOS 10.2 firmware. So if you do want to jailbreak, iOS 10.1.1 is the best place to be, and if you did update to iOS 10.2, don't worry. You guys could still downgrade as of now. And by the way, if you are in, let's say, iOS 10.0 or anything like that, 10.1, 10.0.2, whatever it is, I do recommend that you go ahead and update. It's always great to be on the newest firmware because it has all the bug fixes and all that good stuff. It's more stable and of course the jailbreak will work on that firmware so anyways if you are in ios 10.2 how do you go back to 10.1.1 or how do you just get back to 10.1.1 if you're on any firmware it's really pretty simple i'll be showing guys that right now all right so for people who are new to ios and jailbreaking all that stuff to see what firmware you're on go to settings general about and here under version you guys will see what firmware your device is currently on so mine is 10.2 and guys if you do want to downgrade or update from an older version of ios 10 to 10.1.1 make sure that you do do it quick apple will not be signing 10.1.1 for forever so you might not be able to downgrade in the future usually it takes between one to two weeks or so so guys i can't stress this enough do it right now so you will need this guy just go ahead and plug your device into your computer via the lightning to usb cable you will need a computer yes once it's plugged in okay so once you are on your computer all you want to do is open up your internet browser click on the link that will be down below inside the description it will bring right here ipsw downloads and this is for ios 10.1.1 again that is what we need so first all you got to do is choose your product so iphone ipad ipod i have an iphone so i'm gonna click right there i'll go ahead and bring it to the second step and i'll bring it to the models of the different iphone so i have an iphone 7 gsm so i'm gonna click on this if one does not work 
you can always go and try on a different one but just check for which one your device is so there's the 6s there's a 6s plus and so on and so forth i'm gonna click on this one again and guys here we are we got to select the ios 10.1.1 ipsw and also you can see right here if the firmware is still being signed by apple see how right here says signed and it's green that means you could still downgrade or update to ios 10.1.1 however once it makes its way over here to the unsigned you can no longer downgrade and no longer update to that firmware so again this is important to do quick before apple does stop signing 10.1.1 anyways this is a big file make sure that you do down the newest build so this one's 14b100 you want 14b150 that is the newest build so click on this 10.1.1 okay and there we are just click on download now again this is 2.28 gigabytes it's a big file so it's gonna take some time to download put save it to our desktop save and now we have to wait for this massive file to download and so okay so for me that took five minutes and here's the file right here completed now i can exit right internet browser you won't be needing that anymore and now what we want to do is go ahead and open up itunes and again here's a file that we downloaded right over here and all you want to do is on itunes click on your device and once in your device you will see this button right here check for update on windows you want to hold down on the shift key and on mac hold on on the option key and click on check for update it'll bring up this window and all you want to do is select the iphone 7 or whatever device you have 10.1.1 firmware file click on it open update and there you go it will start extracting the software now guys before you do this i do urge that you guys back up all of your data if something does go wrong you will still have all your data all your music apps and stuff like that so make sure that you do back up your data before doing this and if it does ask for a passcode right here go ahead and type it in on your device and it will go and continue with the update or downgrade and once again guys this is soon as apple will stop signing ios 10.1.1 once they do that you cannot go back to ios 10.1.1 all right now while this is basically downgrading my device i just wanted to talk about some more information regarding the ios 10.1.1 jailbreak or the ios 10 jailbreak in general but basically a guy known as i joppa joppa zeros i believe that was the name something like that he did release a video of, of ios 10 jailbroken on his iphone 7 and and that was so cool. It shows that iOS 10 a 100% can be jailbroken. We have seen that in the past. And even Luca Tedesco did release a screenshot of his phone jailbroken on iOS 10. So guys, we 100% will definitely have a jailbreak. It's a waiting game. As always, there's no 100% concrete release date or ETA that has been announced. It's all just speculation and rumor as to when the jailbreak will be released for iOS 10. But do know that once the jailbreak is released, I will make a video on it showing you guys how to use a jailbreak successfully on your device and get your device jailbroken. I will also be showing you guys some really cool tweaks and what you could do with a jailbreak. Some really awesome stuff. Stay tuned. I did upload videos on the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. I'll put those links in the description so you guys can see what you could do with a jailbreak. But that is just a tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. And with iOS 10 on the iPhone 7 on the iPad Pro, there's so many possibilities of what you could do. It's going to be epic, guys. I am so excited. All right, so there you go. It did finish. Uh, iTunes is bouncing. Let's go ahead and unplug our device from our computer. Let's go ahead and unlock our device. And we are in. So we got this stuff right here. I'm just going to hit cancel for now. Okay, settings, general, about. Let's see where we're at. And there you go. That is exactly what you want to see. 10.1.1 under version so there you go guys that's how to downgrade ios 10.2 to 10.1.1 or update to 10.1.1 pretty simple stuff but yeah guys again stay on ios 10.1.1 if you do want to jailbreak very important again guys there is no release date or eta for the ios 10 through 10.1.1 jailbreak all that we know is that it is being worked on and it is going to be coming soon but when that will happen is an unknown. It may be here this holiday, which would be really cool. A perfect Christmas gift, a jailbreak. That would be perfect. But usually jailbreaks nowadays just drop out of nowhere. We may or may not see a jailbreak this holiday. It definitely would be nice. But again, as judging from past experiences, these jailbreaks just drop out of nowhere. There's no release date, nothing like that. They don't mention anything. And then boom, out of nowhere, a jailbreak just drops out of the sky and we all can enjoy it. Once again, I will be making so many videos once a jailbreak is released tweaks themes all this cool stuff they could do with a jailbreak again guys we are so close just hang in there i can't wait to jailbreak my iphone 7 2 i've been really going back to my iphone 6s i've noticed i mean we need that freedom on ios and as always hope you enjoyed this video found it helpful if you did slap that like button just slap it <laughs> all right but anyways hope you enjoyed be sure to subscribe for tons more content i've got so many videos planned and peace out